Hey guys, welcome to a quick scouts of entertainment tutorial on how to install third age reforged. Just take a quick look. Now this is gonna be a lot easier if you have Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms on Steam. Uh, right now we're at mod.com and I've gone to the reforge, so I've just gone into the search bar, I've gone I've gone to mod.com, typed in the search bar, clicked on third age reforged. Now I'm on the reforged page. You simply go to files. Now it says 0.97 standalone, that means you just need to install this file alone, ignore everything else below it, do not touch it. So you just click on that, we go to download now, we go to about documents, after that's done, I'll just pull it over here. Now I will go to my downloads area, and I'll type in 97 just to narrow down my search, and as you can see that's a third age folder. So I would not. I would right click on that. Go to Seven Zip. I use Seven Zip. It's actually pretty easy and very user friendly. I go to Extract Files. Now you simply go to your Steam folder. In my case, it's here. Go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Medieval Two. Click on Mods and then just press OK. Go through the installation process. And after that's all finished and done and dusted, we go to the Steam file. So, because I've already installed it, I'm not going to install it again. So, we follow the same pathway. But this time, we follow it all the way into Reforged, as you can see here. And that's it right now. And to get into the game, you might have had a launch code you put into your Steam launcher for Medieval 2 and Properties. Get rid of that. You don't need that at all. That was um, they make that very clear in the installation guide. So this is what you need to press to get into the game. You simply left click on that if you wanted to, and hang on. And it's saying send to then you know, create desktop shortcut. It'll look exactly like that. Two widgets on a white panel. You simply double click on that, and you'll go straight into the game, and that's it. You're done. Now there's also a hot fix. Or, um, a little patch that fixes some sort of, um, I don't know the specifics, but it fixes an error on the game. One of which, one of many, unfortunately. The um, the campaign still doesn't work very well for me. It crashes a lot. Still now for testing, I believe that is. In any case, to install a hotfix, you would simply download the file, and then you extract it with 7-zip or WinRAR. And after you've extracted it, it will say data. Okay, and then you'll click on data. You know, just imagine this is the data file that you're going to be getting from the hotfix. You'll simply press Control X, you'll bring it into this file system right here to third age, and then you'll press Control V, and you'll paste the file into here, it'll say replace 127 files, you'll say yes, and that's how you install the hotfix or to updates which you just need to put in the data file. And it'll just override that data file, the original file, and it'll replace it with the better version, the more the up to date version. And if you wanted to install the map pack, which is also coming out, or it's also available currently on Discord, I believe. But to install the map pack, you go to data. Well, yeah, you obviously extract the files and you'll get like four or five different maps. You'll um, highlight them all, pr press Control X, go to world, go to maps, go to custom, and then you'll press Control V and it'll paste all the maps here and you'll be able to play those maps into that reforged and that's how you would put in new maps into your game. And that is it. Um, there was a way to install scenarios, but I didn't think scenarios were currently working on 0.97, or at least I heard from some people that they were having some difficulty playing scenarios on 0.97 so far. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but um, I'll keep you guys posted. And if you have any other questions on how to install 0.97, I'll post the please in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. I hope this was informative and I'll try and do other videos that you guys request in the future. Till then, this is Sketch Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys next time. Bye.